Hey ya, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Um, okay, that's better. Can y'all hear me? Okay. <sighs> y'all. <laughs> I'm on here real quick just to give y'all an update. It's a hair update and I'm going to do a takedown. Basically, I just washed my hair, washed and conditioned my hair, or oiled it, and I am just going to give you guys a quick update since we're here. Now, I want y'all to know that I am a, obviously, a black woman, okay? And I'm traveling, I'm all over the place, I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere, right? I'm not, I don't have a place to necessarily call home. So, I am about to share with you guys the trials and tribulations that comes along with that lifestyle when you are locked natural or just a single black woman right you guys are getting the whole a few different spectrums a few different genres uh but this is you know going to be primarily about my hair and my lifestyle okay so i'm so sorry for how i look y'all I am, um, I'm just relaxing and it's laundry day, it's wash day, it's just, you know, your girl don't do a lot of, you get what you get, okay? <laughs> so, I'm actually going to open up this door, it's hot, it's hot. So let's just keep the door open. Okay, that's better. I just did my wash day. And I am roughly about nine to ten months into my lock journey. I have micro locks and I'm giving you guys an update. So yes, it's about nine to ten months. I think it's more closer to ten months. Um, I just did my ninth retie, maybe even my tenth retie. I can't I can't keep up with it, but it makes sense to just say it's the tenth retie, okay? And um I wanna share with you guys my experience. While having these micro locks that I installed and then while living basically a nomad type of life, meaning you don't have a place to call home. I don't have a place to call home at this time, um, which is my choosing, okay? So, it's, I didn't think I was going to have to deal with 90% of the stuff that I'm dealing with okay when it comes to my hair care and my safety my comfortability okay um and let me start off by saying that when I was a loose natural my hair used to take two days a full two days to dry now that I am locked micro locked my hair will take no more than a couple of hours to fully dry like my hair is not even damp okay like it is completely there it is 98 percent dry like i can feel just a bit of water in my hair but it's mostly oil like my hair is completely in my opinion dry like i could go to sleep on this hair with no problems my pillows will be dry everything is calm cool and copacetic right now i think i lost oh here it go so that is not, not something i'm used to coming from the uh, a loose natural because it took a whole two days for my hair to dry so I'm just blown away at the difference in the health of my hair from being a loose natural to actually locking okay that's just my personal experience right now okay so let's talk about what I've had to encounter and endure while living with these micro locks um, and also while living like a traveling gypsy nomad type of life, okay? Which for the most part, I'm actually enjoying, okay? It's actually, I feel like this is where I, for me, for right now, this is where I 
feel I need to be for whatever reason you know for whatever reasons I'm going through this this is just where where I am right now okay and again this is purely by choice purely okay so this one broke but since I live in basically places that are temporary uh, right now I've been staying in a lot of hotels that one broke too <laughs> So that means I don't have, with the lack of a better way to say it, a personal space that I can, that only I have access to, right? Because when you are living in hotels and you are basically a visitor everywhere that you go, you don't have dominionship, ownership over the spaces that you dwell in, okay? So for example, this hotel, most hotels have to do daily upkeep on their rooms, no matter how long your stay is. And that means you have to allow certain energies into your room, whether it be maintenance, the hotel staff for whatever reason, and people who clean and fix things in the hotel, right? So you have all of your stuff around, your personal stuff around strangers. And so I'm just going to share with you guys what I have experienced, okay? So when I first started this lifestyle, I was very naive. I was very trusting of other people and just knew that my privacy would be respected to a point that I did not have to worry about it. That is not correct. I was sorely mistaken. Even thinking that I would be allowed to be comfortable when it comes to your security and privacy okay because people have access to your dwelling space no matter how long you're there or how short you're there right these are things that I didn't even think of and maybe I'm helping somebody out there who's about to take on somewhat of the same journey okay and whatever spectrum or genre it makes sense to you but when you are living this type of lifestyle, you have to consider that you are not the only person who's going to have access, legal access, to the spaces that you dwell, to the spaces where you hold your private and personal things, right? So I didn't think about that. But now that I have had to endure certain situations, that is the only thing that is like priority now. It's like how I structure my survival when I am living in this type of environment, temporary environments, whether it be Airbnb, hotels, long stays, whatever. Um, so I was staying in a nice, I, what, what I would consider a nice hotel. I was very comfortable there. Not this one, but another one. Um, this was a very almost moderately scaled luxury hotel and um it was a very comfortable stay it would have been great had i not encountered some of the shifty individuals who worked for this hotel um i noticed that and this is just my story i'm not saying this is going to happen to you but i am giving you cautionary warning that you need to take full responsibility for your own protection, for your own environment, and understand that because it's a business, it doesn't mean that people are going to be business-minded and professional at all times. Um, there were sketchy individuals who had access to my room and made it a point to get access to my room for whatever reasons they found fit my room never needed maintenance my room never needed to be cleansed because i always clean my own rooms but i understand every hotel has their own policies has their own uh maintenance staff who come in to clean the rooms as they see fit i get that and I, i'm all i'm on board because i don't own anything in these hotels right but there should be some type of boundary when it comes to when, you know, who is allowed in your room when you are there or when you are not there. 
So in this particular hotel, the staff was so sketchy. They always gave me the, you know, it was just the underlining energy. The energy was so off, y'all. Um, and I tend to have the personality where I people love to think the worst of me for whatever god on off whatever god awful reason okay right i bring out the worst in people and i'm not really sure why especially people who um might not have the best upbringing okay like i bring out the worst in certain people and so you never know who works at what hotel and who's going to feel a certain way about you right it just happened to be a certain person who was working in this hotel. She was giving me the, ba the bad juju vibes every single time I saw her. And before we get into what I noticed, I'm going to tell you that she did knock on my door. And she asked me, you know, first she was checking to see if I was there. And at this point in time i happened to be in my room and i opened the door and she said hey i'm just seeing if you need anything fixed in your room that was a number one that, that was a red flag for me because it's like why would you ask me if i need anything if if i if something needed to be fixed that's the first thing i would alert your staff like hey my sink's not working my shower's not working the water is not hot i would tell you if something needed to be fixed and then she said, oh, well, I was just checking. Um, are you checking out today? It's the second question she asked me. And I said, I'm not checking out today, ma'am. You know, I, as kindly as I could, I told her, I'm not checking out today. I won't be checking out for a while. <laughs> like, why would you be asking me these things? I'm sure you have a log of all of your tenants, okay, guests. I know that you know when we're checking out. You can't be that backlogged and you don't know what's going on. Like, and if you are, it's like, why would the maintenance staff be asking me and not the manager of the hotel be asking me? So that was just a red flag, that right there. So fast forward after that weird encounter, I didn't think much of it. I just let it go, right? I decided to leave my room a few days later I decided to leave my room and go have whatever like a me day or something I went to lunch or just took a walk or whatever and when I came back to my room something just did not feel right okay and I just started to check things I started to check my bed my products I started to check my environment just something just to me just did not feel right okay and I just checked everything and upon my checking this is what I found hey okay. I just wanted to get this on tape okay because who has the time for this type shit like I'm staying at this hotel and I've always been extra, I just get anxious when I have to leave my room. Like I'm somebody who will stay in my room until I leave because people, I personally I've, I've experienced where some of the hotel staff will come into your room unannounced while you leave. Purposely, they'll wait until you leave to come into your room. I've seen this happen at this very hotel that I'm staying in. But before that, I was staying in another hotel and there was some particles in my face wash or my toner or something. And I don't know how long I had been using that motherfucking toner before I had even noticed, noticed that there was stuff. And like my my face broke out real bad and my skin just totally changed while I was using that product. And then I started to see little floaters and I'm like, wait a damn minute, I ain't supposed to have, it was a clear solution toner, like, you know, item or product. And I knew right then and there, I was standing, you know, a hotel and 
when I had left, because I had left at, for hours at a time back when I was comfortable leaving the hotel room. But then when that shit happened to me and I was like, it was a whole fucking particles, itty bitty black particles in my, my toner. I've never opened the toner. All I did was use it. Okay, crack the seal, pop the top back on it. It's a clear solution and use it. And then when I left my room for a few hours, came back, was using my toner for maybe, I don't even know how long, a day or two before I had even noticed the little particles floating at the bottom of my fucking container. So I always, now that lesson had taught me to always just be a little bit more cautious, right, before I leave. I just try to make sure everything is as I left it. Today, I come back from a long trip. For me, it was a long trip. I was only gone for a couple of hours, but that's a long trip for me. Something told me, something just didn't feel right. The energy in my room just don't feel right. First off, it smells bad. Your girl don't stink. I definitely don't smell like that. It smells terrible out there. I can't even clear that energy out of my room. I don't know if this happened today or not. But all I know is that I'm noticing this today, okay? I don't even know if y'all can see me. But I wanted to try to get this thing here on camera. Because you know I'm like crazy. Now, this is Pantene Pro-V leave-in conditioner. Nothing special. It's a water-based conditioner. No oils, no nothing. Nothing is in here that should look like it should not be in here. It's water a little bit of conditioner, okay? Store bought. And I'm really racking my mind, like did I put something, I didn't put no oils in this thing. I didn't. There's nothing in here but liquid-based conditioner and water. So let's go ahead and see what we work with. I wanna make sure y'all can see this. know if y'all seen it but it is it's looking too stringy oh my god I don't know if y'all can even see what I'm seeing but I'm telling you look at that I can see the spit somebody spit in my shit this the the build up the that's not supposed to be there, y'all. That is saliva. This is definitely, oh my God, do y'all see that shit? I don't know how long I've been using it, but it's right there. I know y'all can see the speck, the fucking speck. This is a liquid-based solution, y'all. I'm not fucking crazy. Listen, take a lesson from me, okay? Do not leave your hotel room because I know y'all see that, okay? <clears throat> this is supposed to be clear. What is all of that? What 
is all of that, y'all. Look at this. I know y'all got to see it. I'm trying to get it an angle. I'm just, I'm so fucking disgusted. Why would I spit in my own fucking conditioner? That's a whole fucking loogie right there. Now this side is clear. Okay, it's clear over here. So, it's just, I know you see it. <laughs> I know you fucking see it. This is somebody's spit in my fucking shit. And I don't know how long it's been in my fucking conditioner. I'm just noticing it today. I had a really good, I always have a good stay when I'm here. I always have a good stay. It's clean for the most part. Um, I've been here for a little over two months. I always stay here whenever I am in need of a place to stay. I'm gonna have to call the manager on this cause this is purely unacceptable. Like, I, th I don't even want my, my money back. I just want y'all to know that you got somebody on your staff that's spitting. Because I, I use this all the fucking time and it does not look like this. I'm a cop manager. Okay, and report this to somebody if they even fucking care. Customer service is dead nowadays. They don't really give a fuck as long as they show up at work, clock in and clock out. That's all they care about. They don't care what's going on. And you know, nowadays people do a lot of, like energetically, you, you know when somebody's off. And they just do stuff because they're not all the way here in the head and they just love to it's like a power trip some people it's like five dollar discount some people steal just for the, the thrill of it and some people who have these type of jobs who work and you know just come into hotels and do whatever they're supposed to do but do a little extracurricular activity they get a uh, they might get a sick you know trip off of it coming into somebody's room spitting in their shit and I forbid this person to have any type of witchcraft in their in their history. I mean, people do that type of shit nowadays. So I'm I'm beyond disgusted. I know y'all see. I know y'all see that. Okay, that that slime is not supposed to be there. That is not supposed to be there. And for the life of me, why the fuck would I spit in my $4 conditioner? To get what? To get a refund for $4? <laughs> I don't even want my money back. Fire this hoe. Whoever done been up in here. That's all I got, y'all. So that's what I found. Okay, as I was checking the contents of one of my products, that's what I found. Now, if you guys noticed, I was using a clear water bottle to test, to see what was inside of my conditioner that I put in my hair daily. Okay, this was a product that I was using daily. Um, and before I even get into it, I want y'all to know the lady who knocked on my door to check to see if I needed something fixed. From what I understand, she was in charge of housekeeping, cleaning and maintaining the rooms, not in charge of fixing things like faucets and drains and temperatures of your water and the pressure of your water and things like that. Like that was a whole nother person who I know was in charge of that. The only reason I know is because that's how long I stayed at this hotel. I was there for a matter of, of a couple of months. Um, over a span of time okay so that's why things were just red flagging all over the place so as y'all can see from the clip that was not something that 
I was expecting to see or to find in my products, but it was there. I had no idea how to respond to that, okay? Yes, I could have said, let me speak to your manager. I need to show them what I found in my products. But at the end of the day, guys, it would have been my word against the staff. Um, I know I feel bad to this day because I really felt like I should have stood up for myself more than what I actually did. The only thing that I did do was I threw away all of my products. Anything that was in question, I threw it away. I no longer used it. Um, but at that point, I had no idea how long I had been using those products with the contamination that I had finally saw on the day I noticed it. Yeah, she, whoever did that could have come into my room at any point and put those things into my products. Um, it, it didn't necessarily have to be the day that I left. I want y'all to understand that that could have been sitting there for a long time. Okay. And otherwise, someone could argue, well, you probably bought the products like that. There's a whole listeria outbreak. You know what I mean? Going on right now. And that very well could have fallen victim or under the same circumstances as that, uh, that outbreak okay so again it would have just been an endless back and forth of word against word I did I just decided you know what I don't have the stress capability um, accommodation to even worry about it instead of doing that I just decided to do better right I decided that burn me once you won't burn me again so now that I have endured that type of lifestyle or that type of incident i no longer trust uh even the, the even people who work in hotels with my safety okay i feel like you always should have a, your own personal backup your own personal um evidence of who is entering your room and who is not so what i did was i went to walmart grocery on the grocery shopping side and i purchased a wireless portable camera okay and i don't know the specific name to this one but i know that it does cost about 20 bucks if i can find a link i will leave it below for those of you who are interested but i'm telling you they have these portable cameras at walmart you can buy it on amazon you can try target and they're very reasonably priced like i said i paid about 19.99 20 bucks for this portable camera which I will be using every time I leave my room okay because if I would have had physical evidence that somebody came into my room while I was away mind you um, I would have had the proof that they entered my room while I don't want anyone to enter my room because I had a do not disturb sign up on my door as i always do but that doesn't mean that's not going to stop the hotel staff especially a manager from coming into your room as they please okay and i've seen the same person who knocked on my door and asked me if i was checking out today and asked me if i needed something fixed that very same person was intruded somebody else's space my neighbor's space albeit that person might not have had you know um their their faculties all of their mental faculties there was something going on there where yes you should intrude and, and see what's going on but that person had a do not disturb sign on their door and still there was a breach in that trust from the hotel staff and they entered that very same person who knocked on my door entered into that woman's room my neighbor's room unannounced um uninvited and just walked in and she was on the phone I'm, I'm i'm in the room next i can hear what's going on these walls are thin i heard everything she was saying to the person she had on the phone as she was in that room uh unannounced and uninvited 
and she was talking to what seemed to be like the general manager or somebody who was above her and she said I'm very disappointed in what I see here blah 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 right I get that but what I don't get is why you feel you have the right to enter into somebody's room who's not giving you any problems, who doesn't seem like they can't be trusted, who's not messing up your equipment, your room, your furniture, or anything like that, right? I spent 95% of my time in my room minding my own business, making sure that places was clean and spotless. I don't smoke, so there was no reason for that intrusion. Okay, and then on top of that, I find an unknown substance in my hair products. And that was just what I found. I don't know what else could have been. That's why I just had to throw everything out and start all over. I had to buy all new body washes, lotions, oils, hair products, all of that stuff. I had to come out of my own pocket and buy again. And I'm going to leave the name of that hotel and the location in the description bar for anyone who's wondering and who wants to know. Um, but I'm telling you, this could happen anywhere, at any hotel, at any time, okay? So, after I had saw the stuff that was in my air conditioner, I was beside myself with disgust and with untrust. I just knew I could not trust staying there, which is one of the reasons why I left. Um, and besides that, the manager... The actual GM who was there maybe once or twice a week, he couldn't even look me in the eye as I was checking out. And that's how I knew, like, you know you got some shady, shifty characters working for you. Because you can't even look me in my eye because you know that that was a breach of my personal privacy and safety. The stuff that was in my conditioner to this day, I'll, I'll never know what it was. But I do know that my hair, which is why I wanted to update you guys, I saw a big difference in my hair. Um, not only did I see an increase in shedding in my locks, but I saw an increase in um, strength, okay? I saw an increase of where my hair is at the root. I could definitely see that there was some weakness there. Keep in mind, I was right in between retides. So it was about six to eight weeks from my last retie when I saw and all this stuff went down. But it was re weaker at the root. My new growth area was super, I wish I would have taken a picture, but I didn't but I could just you know how you could just tell there's something different in your hair like and it felt like my hair had lost a little bit of its curl and not only that all of my frizz came back y'all know I did a frizz free maintenance upkeep or I had cut all the mate all the frizz from my hair I don't know if y'all can see this but all of the frizz is back like it never left okay and yes, it's still a bit more maintained, but I'm telling you guys, it is, man, I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing. It, it still feels healthy, but again, this is, this is maybe a couple weeks later from the incident. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of frizz that has come back. Um, and I'm just going to keep it. I'm not even going to mess with my hair anymore because it's been through enough. <laughs> it's been through enough. And there are pieces of my hair that are just straight and just like, why? Why Why is there a straight piece in my hair? Okay. I don't even know if y'all can see that, but it's right here. There's a straight piece in my hair. It doesn't curl, it doesn't form, it doesn't do anything like it normally would do. And I'm not talking about this little bouncy thing here. There's a literal straight piece of hair right here. It's just straight. It doesn't even know what to do. And I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but trust me, it is there. And it's like that all over my head right and I'm trying not to tear up and get 
emotional about it because the deed is done it's done okay and this is just something that i want to share with you guys to help protect you guys and let you know that please don't be naive about staying in other people's places airbnb hotels friends house family doesn't matter keep your stuff in a clear bottle okay make sure you know that what it looks like at all times know where the level is look be anal about your stuff because that's how some people are just evil and rotten at the soul and they have a, a um I don't know if it's a vendetta or just they get off on hurting people without people really knowing it was them. Some people, it's like a five-figure discount. Some people just steal for the hell of it, okay? And some people love to just try to hurt you in the littlest ways that can be major. So, like I said, I'm noticing the shedding. It, it's gotten better now because now I'm not using leave-in conditioner. I'm only using water because of this incident because I had to live through that. So now I only use water. That is it to moisture my hair every single day. And of course I still use my oils but I had to throw out everything that I had and buy everything else off the shelves. Okay. Um, my hair looks 100% better than what it did when I noticed this stuff. Like, I had some locks that were just, they felt that they were hanging on by a thread, even with all that beautiful new growth I had. Again, this was right in between six to eight weeks of new growth. And some of them felt like they were just hanging on by a fucking whisper. And it, it took everything in me not to cry and not to just get emotional. But I'm just telling y'all, it was so bad. And then the frizz, when I saw my frizz come back, I'm like, why would it come back now after I didn't do anything different outside of staying in a, somebody else's space, outside of my environment being different? So I knew it wasn't something I was doing. It was something that happened to me that happened and as y'all can see i know y'all saw the muck the mucus the whatever that stuff was and i was disgusted because i had just used that conditioner that morning okay and it could have been in there for god knows how long um but the thing is is what was in there it could have been chemicals toxins anything that could not just hurt my hair but my scalp my brain my eyes and guys my eyes were red for a week and a half i had woke up with a headache every day i am not lying to you that something was in that product okay and my eyes have cleared up um my, my head stopped hurting because i washed my hair two or three times before after i found that out after i realized like damn i could possibly be using some contaminated uh products and so i just kept um i just kept an eye on myself i kept an eye on my eyes and my headaches and things started to go away i even got like um my, the sniffles once I don't it could have been anything y'all listeria is going around COVID is still active I don't know who these people are what they have access to they could have a sick family member friend it took some of their liquids their bodily fluids and put it into my like you know what I mean like those are the things that can happen okay to anyone who is subject to staying in hotels and airbnbs or just other environments that are not yours okay this is a real thing that happened to me and i'm sure it's happening to all over the place okay because people are just not right in the soul i feel like this was an attack that happened because people are just simply not genuine not good natured and just pure evil but thankfully i was able to get myself and my hair back to a normalcy, back to a position of health, wealth, and what I'm used to. Um, but I'm letting you guys know that, yeah, I experienced that. So I had the red eyes, the headache, the shedding had increased. I also noticed that there was a huge increase in frizz. And before I tied my hair, I could feel that there was some loose, uh, very... <sighs> 
for lack of a better way to say it, they were they were just hanging on by what seemed like one or two strands. And that's just, that's not like me. That's not like my hair, my normal new growth. It was completely different. Um, there is no exaggeration here because I have no reason. I'm not gaining anything from this outside of you guys seeing me as some potential schizo. But why would I lie about that? You guys could see the slime coming out from my products why would i spit in my conditioner why would i do that to myself right i'm not gonna waste my money just to get a couple likes <laughs> f that i am here to try to help you guys think um in a, in a position where you will not be vulnerable to attacks like this okay um because this this shit is happening it is it, real it's real people are out here just with rotten evil souls for whatever reason, I don't know. That's beyond me. But from from now on, everybody's on candid camera. Okay? I don't care if I'm gone for two seconds. When you are in this type of living environment, when you are um, living in other people's dwelling spaces, you need to take full precaution and have protection for yourself. Um... So that's what happened to me, y'all. I'm going to continue to take down my hair um, just so y'all can see the process. So now that we got the, the elephants out of the fucking way, let's go ahead and show you my update on my hair. So I've been locked for 10 months. <laughs> it seems so crazy. Let's see. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, January. So yeah, 10 months. It's been, t it'll be 10 months on the 28th, okay, of this month. Um, and I just completed a fresh retie yesterday. I know the day before, so it's completely fresh and we're going to get into the grid, y'all. Um, I wanted to update you guys on... my extension my extensions um i think i have about seven maybe six i'm not really sure my lock count is about 324 i started with 318 so that means i have six lock extensions i did have eight but i lost two I lost two of my extensions because they were just so small. I lost one here and I lost one here. Um, they were too thin, too baby, too, they weren't ready to actually hold a lock. So they got thin and I was interlocking them once a week and it was just too much for them and they broke off. So out of the eight locks that I added, I lost two. So that means we are still back at 324 because I started with 318. Right, I added eight locks, lost two. Now I'm, I still have the six that are still intact, still growing, still strong, and I now have 324 locks. Oh, yeah, it has been a beautiful journey, a very realistic, not realistic, mm -hmm. but eye opening journey for me. Um, I love, love, love my hair. I love the simplicity of it, but I also love that it is a very natural part of me that I can show off and be proud of and just take care of. I never thought I would have this type of love and admiration for my hair. Um, and to have someone attack that, that was, that was very hurtful for me as a not just as a woman, but spiritually, that, that let me know that, you know, people are just not going to be right. And you have to be able to fight for yourself, okay, guys? Because some people are just not going to be happy that you don't see yourself the way they want you to see yourself. And they see you with... It could have been a jealousy thing. It could have been anything, guys, um, that made this person attack the way that they attacked. But it doesn't matter now because it's over. It's done. Um, I'm hoping that there are no long-term detrimental effects. 
but I, it still kind of wounds me because now I have to live <laughs> like this now because I just simply cannot risk trusting um, my environment no matter where I am okay so I just love the the growth this journey that I'm on I love seeing my hair bonding with myself during my retires moisture routines wash days um, it's been a beautiful journey but that does not mean it's been easy other things that I have noticed um, now that I've locked is that my hair is drying quicker my hair is actually holding on to the moisture that I put into it um, it might be because I'm not using as much product I'm not using coconut oil I'm just using like the basics the bare minimum um, I use the LGX the solid oil not the spray mist but I am using the OGX and I mix that with castor oil. What regular castor oil or black Jamaican, whatever I have on hand. Okay, so uh, castor oil, black Jamaican castor oil, OGX oil, a little bit of clove oil because it smells so good and I think it's helped me with the hair growth. Um, and also a little bit of tea tree oil and if I don't have tea tree, I will use peppermint oil. Okay, I mix that all in a bottle shake it and I put that on my scalp once a week particularly right after I wash it but if I haven't washed my hair it's still once a week right so it's definitely accepting moisture better um, my hair feels fuller as the days go on it's definitely growing it's come a long way um, regardless of the attack um, I can still, it, it's, it's definitely taking to the water better. Like since I'm not using actual leave-in conditioner, that Pantene Pro-V, and I'm only using water, I can see a difference in the thickness even. Like, I don't know if y'all can see this, but baby, listen, y'all can't tell me a damn thing. You just can't, honey. Okay, you can't tell me a damn thing. <laughs> like it's just super thick um i've noticed that my right side this side here is a lot more thicker um than my left side but even the left side has come a very very long way um it's filled in okay i don't know if i can see that but oh my god i just listen when i tell y'all i love myself from the rooter to the tutor <laughs> and anybody who attacks me you might as well just that's like attacking my child just like attacking my family like that's why I'm just sitting here trying not to cry because it's like who could be that evil and put an unknown product chemical in somebody else's daily moisturizing products in tools and know that they're going to use it and be potentially hurt by it like who if you're that evil you don't need to be here on this earth <laughs> you know like <sighs> but y'all trick no good okay the weapon shall not form against me and prosper period as you can see because this is nothing but glorious, beautiful growth. And I am all here for it. Okay. And I'm, I haven't even taken, this is just half of my hair. <laughs> a little bit over half of my hair that has been taken down. Um, but I'm telling you, it did not look like this a week ago. Maybe, a, you know, when it happened, when it first happened. Like my hair was just like, it was so different like you know like a mama knows when her child is hurt like you, you ain't even gotta say nothing baby i know outside of the drama y'all even my baby hairs okay i don't know if y'all can see that forgive me i don't have any makeup on but just take a look okay y'all see y'all see the naps in the back i know y'all see it I know y'all see. 
I got little baby hairs that I can actually brush out and you know like you can see there's a little yeah my hairline has I got my daddy hairline listen we all over the place but at least you can see I have some hair growing in here now will I ever if they get long enough I may try to add some locks but at this point I'm cool with a, I'm cool with the solid 324 locks okay but this is just like look at this i ain't got no product outside of water and oil on my hair no product on my hair at all and i can see the beautiful baby hairs that i have not seen and i don't know how long okay y'all i don't know why this video is making me so emotional i think it's because it's been almost a year now i've come a long way i have seen a lot of growth regardless of the challenges and the mountains that have been presented to me during my hair journey um, regardless of the attacks that i may have experienced um i've come a long way and i'm just happy that to share my journey with you guys it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows, but even then, it just it's, those energies are presented to you to be stronger, to have um, a more solid connectivity with yourself, your hair, and your God. Okay, because when I when I take care of my hair and myself, I see it as giving thanks to the Most High. Okay, and for somebody to try to attack that. That was a personal, that was personal to me. But I handled it the best way that I can handle it. And I just want to share this with you guys, just to give you guys a heads up and let you know, you know, um, not to be so naive and not to be so trusting when your products are constantly around other people, places, and or things, okay? Because just because you love yourself does not mean that other people are going to accept that, love you, and even like the fact that you love yourself enough to take care of yourself. Some people are out here so rotten that it, it upsets them to see you taking care of your basic needs. We got to do better. Only you, you have to do better than that. Okay, if you are that rotten in the soul, I'm telling you, baby. I don't even have to wish no bad on that person because they have done the work themselves, okay? Let me go ahead and finish taking out this hair and I'm going to show you, this is day one hair, which reminds me of like that day one wash and go. If you guys from all my loose naturals out there, y'all remember, if you you're probably still, if you are a loose natural, you know what your day one hair looks like. This is day one hair for me. It looks just like a fresh <coughs> wash and go. It's crispy, especially if you just did a retie. Like it's given that type of look. Um, it looks like a wash and go to me. Now to you, you might just see cyst locks or micro locks or whatever you want to call it. But it, it will expand. It will definitely frizz up a bit more, which now I love. Um, and it will, like I said, it's just going to grow and look better over the days. So let's go ahead and just finish. And then I will, of course, do a bit of grid showing. And then if I have time, I will show you guys a day two or three. All right. <laughs> 